655. I uh, want to know, we let you know that we've been following some breaking news here this morning. Uh, so right now we're following this from the south side. IMPD now providing information on an incident that caused that vehicle fire and traffic backup that Kelly just told you about there that we've been following on I-65. So we've learned that this all stemmed from a police chase. The car on fire that was involved in an attempted robbery of an ATM right now. So we are seeing multiple crashes in that area. If you saw that video, you know it's pretty backed up in that area. So we're going to get over to Kelly right now for a look at those updates soon. Okay, thanks, ladies. Yeah, so it's I-65, the southbound travel lanes near Southport Road. That's where we had the first accident with the vehicle on fire. You can see those are the headlight areas going southbound. Now, to the right-hand side of your screen, we have another accident. This is in the northbound travel lanes, and it is causing some backups in that area. You can see that there's a police officer there. Backing up farther to the north, I-65 at Edgewood Avenue, another accident. This one involved an IMPD vehicle that was rear-ended heading to this accident at Southport Road. So a lot going on in this area, big slowdowns in this area, and want to get to Scott Graber, our photographer on the scene. He is along South Port Road overseeing this area. As you can see that both accidents here, the southbound travel lanes I-65 at Southport Road and the northbound travel lanes of I-65, big backups both directions, big slowdowns. Please use US 31 southbound and northbound to get to your commute and avoid this area altogether. Chuck.